previously. Right, let's make a walk down to, in fact I could probably teleport to a, oh that's not good. No shiitake, no shiitake, no shiitake, no shiitake, no shiitake, no, please don't die. Go home. Oh, it just tend morning just in time. Oh shiitake, you really worried me, you really did. Don't go out there. That was, that was way too close. Jeez, right, okay, we need a demon altar and we can warp to one fairly close by over here on our way to the demon demon the pumpkin pumpkin king the fighting place now I'm slightly worried about summoning some of these because I think some of them have requirements like the eat of worlds can only be summoned in the crimson by smashing the orbs the crimson the um, corruption by smashing up altars or orbs or something like that but does the brain of Cthulhu have a similar setback? Can that only be summoned in the crimson? And how about the queen bee? Can that only be summoned in the jungle? I'm hoping I can summon them all. If I can, then I will summon what I can. In fact, I don't even know if the console can handle summoning more than one boss at a time. I know you can do this on the PC. I know you can summon multiple bosses on the PC. I don't know if you can on the Xbox. I honestly don't know if we can handle it. Right, we want some demon altars. We must surely have some left. We didn't smash every single one in this world. Did we? Map it up. We may have done. There's an orb down there. Oh, please don't tell me I smashed them all. Let me out. have a bit of a wonder. Oh, I guess we could always go to the other world, known as world. And do that. Well, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. Looks like we're going to have to. Looks like we will have to. Ah, oh, there's one there. There's one there. Perfect. There's a couple here, in fact. Let me throw craft up a abomination and a bloody spine. Nice! Right, get me out of this crap heap. Yes, like I said, I don't know if I'm able to summon them, but I'm going to. And I'm going to quickly run through what is going to happen with each of the bosses once we get over here. And I'll start with the easiest. Did I, I didn't make an Eye of Cthulhu, did I? No, I didn't. Or can they only be found? Let's go home. Maybe certain... F mm, I don't know. Let's have a check in our chest. I must... Someone's the destroyer. We already had one of those. What a pain in the butt. It's not in there. This is one of those ridiculous things, isn't it? I want to spend ages looking around. Ah, there we go. Suspicious looking eye for the eye of Cthulhu. Is there anything else in here that summons anything else? Let's quickly look through. Eye to eye. That can't be summoned. The skull. Ah, to summon Skeletron we need the... This is right. Clovia Voodoo Doll. Ooh. That summons the Skeletron. And we can't do that. And uh, the, That is the equivalent of... That I think I don't know. Right, I'm, I think that's all. The, am I missing anything? I I, I want to do this, and I, I don't want to say I've defeated all the bosses at once when I'm missing something. Now, obviously, we can't do the Eater of Worlds because it can only. Is it obvious? I'll look it up. Um, obviously, we can't do the Wall of Flesh because that can only be summoned in Hell and Beyond. But the others should all be summonable, and. I will quickly run through what, how each boss is going to react to this arena. Then, while I wait for night time, because remember it has been night time, some of them, I'll quickly look up if there is a way to summon the Eater of Worlds 
and if there is I'll quickly do that before night time comes. Now it is looking dark but it's not night time it's just because we're in the corruption. So as we approach this place hopefully my thing should still be running and spiking away. Should be so much treasure down here. Yes they're still using their same pattern. Let's quickly land in here. Okay so the Let's start with the easiest ones. The, you've seen the twins, and the Eye of Cthulhu is even easier. It will just hover above me, won't it? Trying to get me, and that won't work. It will die so easy. The Brain of Cthulhu operates similarly, except it spits out little discs of enemies, which should die instantly. And it likes to sort of turn intangible, intan intangible, but it should still die fairly easily in here. The B will sweep from left to right and then right to left and then hover above me. Hopefully it will die during one hover session. Hopefully it can sustain enough damage. If not, it will keep darting backwards and forwards to try and hurt me, eventually hovering and then dying. Not too bad. Skeletron will hover above me and just absolutely pierced in his brain. And if you remember when his head spins, he takes significant more damage and he should just get wiped out. His arms should die incredibly easily too. And that leaves Skeletron Prime. Now his arms, while tough, should fall fairly quickly. Not as easy as some of the other enemies, but they will they will take their time. But the bombs shouldn't hurt me. It's laser cannon shouldn't hurt me. It's saw and it's claw should be able to, but not significantly enough for me to worry about. And it's head, this is where the trouble comes in. When its head spins, it is enough to instant kill me, so or do significant damage. So if I see its head spinning, what I will do is I'll flip the switch and warp down here, and its head will spin all the way down, and by the time it reaches me, it will stop spinning, so I can quickly warp back up, and it will just continue to take the damage. And every time I see its head spinning, I'll have to warp. Now the one thing I'm worried about is if there are so many enemies on the screen, I can't see its head spinning. That will make me panic and I might die. But that should be everything. I'm going to remove all of these things because I won't really need to use them. I can throw up some clouds, I guess, but it's not really going to help. So we'll do that, then that, then that, then that. Other destroyer, as, as, as I've mentioned, will just swim about getting pierced and just take so much damage. It's not. I don't even think it would hit me once. I don't need a light. I don't need my... Guys, I guess I can summon two guys right now. Uh, these will just hop around up on here. Uh, switch this out for this. Put that on there. Put my turtle armor back on. Now, with the turtle armor um, on, I can only summon two tiki guys. One from the staff and one because of this. So, I'll quickly summon one guy to stand watch here. One guy to stand watch here. Don't come in here with me, idiots. Uh, that should do all of that. Ah, uh, uh, no, there is one thing I want to do first. Right, let's quickly uh, move that from there to there. And that, that is essentially how I want this fight to go. I'll summon all of these. I'm going to quickly walk home. We've got plenty of time. It's the middle of the day. I'm going to take a bunch of money out of here. Like, so much. Like that. We're going to tinker table some stuff. Now... We've tinkered up all our weapons and stuff, and I completely forgot we can tinker our accessories. Come here, Dalek. This is going to get expensive very quickly, but we can tinker each of these things to give us plus four defense. We can go with movement speed, we can go with damage, we can go with swing speed, it doesn't matter. What we want is defense. Plus 20 mana, it costs 20 gold apiece. Come on. Plus four defense, and that has cost us half of our money for that one item alone. Oh, jeez. Um, 2%, 4%, 2%. Yeah. Plus four defense. Got five platinum left. Uh, Come on. No, it's 4% damage. I'll hold on to it for now and quickly do the wings. And around 4% something, then keep going through and end up with nothing on it. Come on. Four defense. Got one platinum left. I told you this would eat for our money. Four defense. Okay, so that has increased our defense significantly. Four, eight, twelve, 
16 extra defense. I could try, but it's 16 gold apiece. That means I can only really spin on this one about four or five times. What are the odds of getting uh, more defense? Uh, quite low, aren't they? So I'm. Oh, I've popped a torch off. What am I like? What am I like? Let's put this back on. Went all the way around for no reason. And it goes here. And I will leave. I'll put my save back on. And I'm going to quickly. Very quickly, look up if it is possible to summon the Eater of Worlds, and I'll be back in a mo. Right, so I've just checked, and the Brain of Cthulhu cannot be summoned unless I'm in the Crimson, so that is ruled out. The Abomination, the Queen Bee, can only be summoned if I'm in the jungle, but I'm thinking it might still work, because it awarded me the Jungle Biome Key over the ocean, I think it might... Class it has been a jungle for some reason, so it might work. The mechanical worm will work, the mechanical eye will work, the suspicious looking eye will work, the mechanical skull will work, the clovier doll will not. We have to use the clovier doll to kill the. Uh, what's it called? The clovier. Um, but that means standing here and killing him, and then warping over there. We're never going to make it in time. We will get wiped out. Well, I say wiped out. We'll just get attacked constantly until we make it to the area. So I'm just going to deposit that in there like so. But we can hopefully fight one, two, three, four, five bosses at once. It's better than nothing, right? That's it. That's it, sir. Um, yeah, sir. Let us put away this money. We don't want to lose all this. Down to five platinum. This is... That really it for our money. Now I know I leveled up the Moon Charm rather than the Moon Shell, but to be fair, whenever I'm doing this, I will be using the Moon Charm, not the Moon Shell, because of the whole thing into a main man thing. Let's put away. We've got a lot of crap in our inventory, haven't we? Considering we haven't really been doing much. Ah, it's probably leftover items from when I was cr oh, crafting up the abomination stuff. Yes, uh, I'll throw it slime. Put that on there. So I think we are good to go over the winter for night time. Now a thing to mention is that of course I can have two little summonable guys because of it being Oh because of it being uh, my turtle armor rather than the tiki armor. But the two guys themselves, they're not that important. I could probably do it without them. It's just having them here is a bit of extra damage, I guess. Turtle armor, on the other hand, has the highest defense of all the armors, which is good because I want to take as little damage as possible. Uh, and also the warding items, plus four defense on each of those, ap well, apart from one, because I don't have enough money to get the next one done. That is, we should just have huge, huge defense. And with those guys protecting us and the spear traps, everything going on, we should be good. Just remember, the only thing I have to worry about is the Skeletron Prime who I need to do the teleport away from thing. Look at all the loot down there. It's ridiculous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sleep in this bed. Now if I die, I spawn here and all the bosses won't disappear. Seriously, look at all that treasure up there. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Explosion! Boom, boom, everything dies. I'm going to go back up. Now I'm going to wait here till night time and then I'm going to go... Uh, which one should I get out first? It doesn't really matter, but like I say, I've gone through how each of them should react and how each of them should die in this place. And it really is just Skeletron that I'm concerned about if I don't see it attacking me. Now, of course, I can throw up some rain for no apparent reason. Just a bit of extra help, I guess. And I can keep swinging this around for extra damage. It just about reaches the eyes when they're flying around. Just make sure, double check I've got everything I want. I think so. I think I'm happy with what I have. Oh, right, okay then, I'll be back when it is night. Oh, Blood Moon once again, and it is now night time, so I'm going to try and summon each of these bosses, working my way from right to left. Whew, I'm already, here we go. Let's uh, throw down some rain, first of all, because, you know, why not? A bit there and a bit here. And let's do this! B! Mechanical worm! Mechanical eye! Suspicious looking eye! Mechanical skull! Let's go! Every single boss! Let's do this!
<laughs> that was a lot easier than I was expecting. In fact, for the longest time, I didn't even run away when the Skeletron attacked me. That is how confident I was. I knew I'd be able to survive. Is that everything turned off? Yeah. I knew I could survive his attacks. Uh, at one point, I stupidly tried to climb out of the arena. I don't know what I was thinking, but I tried to climb out of the arena. Uh, now, so much treasure around. Let's try and pick all this up. So, yeah, I think... Um, I think this place works. I think I'm confident enough for when the uh, Pump King shows up, I'll be able to do this. Alright, let's quickly warp down to below, because I think Skeletron died down here somewhere. I think that's everything done. Let's check, do we have all three types of soul? We have 30 souls of might, 27 souls of sight, and 21 souls of fright. 84 hallowed bars. What is that? Arapima banner. Yeah, so, I'm, <laughs> I'm very happy with that. You can tell how chuffed I am. I didn't think we'd be able to defeat them that, I knew I'd be able to do good. I just didn't think it'd be that easy and that quick. That was super, super amazingly fast. Wow. I am so impressed. I am really, really impressed with myself and how well this works. I definitely recommend going back to my let's build video and learning how to build one of these for yourself if you want to do something just as amazing. Of course the demon scythe helped. The rain, I, I don't think anything even hovered where the rain was so it didn't even matter. But that worked. I, I can't even warp home now. Oh well, I guess I have to do a victory lap to get home since <laughs> I, I slept in the bed down there unnecessarily. Right, I'll be back when I am at home and put away all of this stuff. All of my Winnings.